Hello everybody, welcome back to the Pixel Therapy channel. Uh, today we are doing a race in the Ferrari Fixed uh, series. This is the D-Class series. And uh, I'm trying to get back into iRacing. As a rookie, I'm still a D-Class. And the goal is to get my safety rating up and hopefully maybe progress into a C-Class. And over time with skill, get my i-rating going back up. Now, as you all know, I have dabbled in iRacing here and there. And unfortunately, because of my very leisurely haphazard uh, sort of experience with iRacing, I've had instances where I've had quite a few mishaps and crashes. So therefore, my i-rating is really quite low. I think it's sitting at about 400 odd. And so it'll be cool to sort of get that back up and uh, see how well I can race uh, against other people. So anyways, uh, without whining too much, let's get straight into the race. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do, please like and subscribe. See, see you on track. So here we are at Summit Point Speedway. We are in the D-Class fixed Ferrari series and we have qualified P7. So the goal for today's race is to try and be safe and try and get those safety points up, that safety rating up, and maybe hopefully mid-season qualify onto C-Class and uh, yeah, just do more content. So definitely the guys have gotten a lot faster. And uh, if I can just stay out of trouble and finish top 10, I'm a happy guy at this particular point. So yeah, at this point we will grid it up. We're just gonna do the first lap. I'm gonna take it easy and we'll see how we go. Uh, my thoughts on the new Ferrari, it's all right. It's a lot more stable. It feels like it's got more aero, which makes sense because the Evo has got a specialized body kit to increase the aero in the real world. Seventh position. And that's Track coming through. 42 Celsius. But uh, it's definitely a Ferrari, so it's more balanced, not as pointy. Um, but yeah, here we go. Let me focus and uh, try and stay out of trouble. See if we can ride this break and get the brakes warm for T1. We've got ourselves a blinky build in front of us here. I hope these guys are safe and there aren't any collisions. It's a little scarier when you're P7 and you're right in the middle of the pack. It's either with most of these D-class races, you really want to be out in front and just kind of run away with it. Or you want to be at the back and let the carnage happen in front of you and just pick up all the places. It's when you qualify middle of the pack that uh, things can get a little precarious. Trying to keep an eye on that safety car. Here we go. Okay, mate. Here we go. Green, green, green. Fifteen minutes left. All right, now to settle in. Great 
start. Well done. Tires haven't quite warmed up yet. You can feel it. Not all the grip is there. The stewards have warned us for cutting the track. Keep it between the white lines. Ooh. just done at 109.3 you thought the guy behind has just done at 109.5 right side hold your line clear right just let him pass i could see him coming a mile away with a dive bomb and i want to finish this race Fastest lap for Butler, 109.1. The guy ahead has just done a 109.1 P5. Your lap time was 111.2. Sector 1 is 1.3 seconds off the pace. The gap behind is now 0.8. See if we can catch up with these guys up front. The gap in front is now 2.0 seconds. That was at 109.4. Alright mate, 10 minutes to go. That's 10 minutes left. Yeah, the Ferrari does not like to turn in.
The fun little circuit, though. Good fun. I'm just trying to stay within two seconds of the guys in front, but they're pretty quick. Jesus, almost lost it there. Come on, turn. I'm losing time at that hairpin. Okay, mate, that's half distance. You're looking good for fuel. Now, I could have attacked the guy in front, and I did think about it, but he's considerably faster than I am. And I just don't need that kind of pressure, not for one position, you know? But if I can stay within draft, then hopefully... I leave the pack behind us some distance away. The gap ahead is now 2.0 seconds. Yeah, he's a lot quicker than I am. That lap time was 110.5. Okay, mate, five minutes to go, five minutes left. Come on, keep digging. Yeah, so the 
the new Ferrari pretty well balanced. A lot more agile, but it's still a Ferrari compared to the old one. Um, but definitely a car for people just getting into GT3, you know? People like me. Front is now 2.9 seconds. Alright, let's try and put a little more pressure and keep up with this guy. Caution. It's gone off track. Come on, mate. Push, push, push. We can catch this car. Thank you. That's two minutes left. Two minutes. Was a uh, 11.3. I feel bad for that guy, he was in poor position. Sucks. And he was doing so well. Well, I assume he's one of the guys out in front. We'll see if my position has increased at the end of this lap from 5th to 4th. Nah, you are going to front runner. I'm still P5. So chances are you're just someone in the middle of the pack, I guess. Summit Point is a fun wee track, isn't it? But it's very full on. There's there's no reprieve really.
All right, and so that was my very first uh, race in the Ferrari 488 in the D-Class. As you can see, my safety rating has gone up, and so is my I rating. Now, to give you context, the I rating is quite low. One, because I've dabbled in I racing here and there, but I've never really committed to it. And so, prior to this, basically all I'll do is I'll jump in at random and do ad hoc races within the Rookie and the D-Class. And that is really, and I'd crash out and just quit the server. So long story short, that's really tanked my uh, my I rating. So I want to take it a little more seriously and see if I can get both the safety rating and the I rating up. But uh, yeah, without wasting too time, let me know what you thought of the video. If you like it, please like, subscribe, and I hope to hear from you soon. Peace.